right here, this is pretty much a pork chop. This is pork belly. You can make bacon, you can make pancetta. But we're not making pancetta today. No, nope. we're making porchetta. A porchetta is such a great piece of meat, and I think that is why you could bring it to a funeral, a birthday, bring it to some swimming lessons, fuck it. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna kind of butterfly this just so I can add more seasoning. We're just gonna take a little olive oil. And we're just gonna kind of layer this up. Watch this, I love this. We're gonna take a little sea salt. I'm building a landscape of flavor. Some dried chili flake. I like mine a little spicy. We're gonna take some garlic. We're just gonna zest some beautiful orange, some fresh cracked pepper, rosemary, parsley really quickly. Cooking machines. This is Amaro. Amaro is a, an Italian digestive, and it has those deep kind of caramelized flavors that I want to put inside of the, the porchetta, just as a flavoring. And then we're gonna cut our orange. Watch this. We're just gonna squeeze it. Oh, mama. Now we're just gonna take our hands, kind of rub everything in. Kind of get those meat slaps going. So that's amazing. So now you're gonna do this really tight, as tight as possible, okay? We're just gonna take a box cutter really quickly. We're doing like lengthwise. So this way, it's more unison. And I'm just like a little kitty cat, just scraping away at this. And that will make sure that skin gets really crispy. This is just butcher's twine. You can get this anywhere. So I'm just gonna take this, and when you do this, you do a double knot, and then that way it doesn't come loose. What we're gonna do is tie this puppy up. So you go under, come up, another knot, and you pull it from side to side, and then boom. By doing this, it keeps the porchetta tight in unison, so then it cooks evenly. I have to reflot it a little bit. <laughs> to make it nice and tight. Gotta tie down that little piggy. He doesn't go anywhere. Ah, look at this fucking poor Gucci. You're gonna tie her up. You gotta tie that fucking pig and then you rip it. So when you're trussing a porchetta, you don't have to do it the exact same way that I do it. You can just take twine and literally just fucking loop it around a million times. Just wrap it around so the pork doesn't open up. Once it starts roasting, it sticks together and you're fine. Holy shnikes. Look at that. See? Watch this. A perfect little porchetta. It's beautiful. I'm gonna take some salt. We want the outside to be dry. This may seem like a lot of salt because it's a lot of salt. Follow me. Porchetta's in the oven. That's got about three and a half hours at 350 degrees Fahrenheit. Woo! Look at this. This is perfect already. I'm gonna cut the strings off this, and now we're gonna step it up even further. So this is kind of dangerous as I pinch my balls. This is a hot pot of canola oil. This is pig skin. This will because it's so nice and dry, this is gonna turn into chicharron. Chicharron is crispy pig skin. And then when you hit it with that hot oil, it puffs, it blisters, and you get that super crispy, like glass-like chicharron effect. But make sure there's no kids around, okay? There's no drunk people. There's nobody stoned on the marijuana sticks. Whenever you're dealing with hot oil like this, this can fuck you up. Cause I'll tell you one thing, you treat this thing with disrespect, it will burn your fucking life away. My older brother came home drunk one time. He threw in a bunch of fucking frozen chicken fingers into a pot of fucking like smoking hot oil and it fucking blasted him. Please be careful. Don't blow up your face like my brother. Oh, you hear that? and it just blisters away. So as you can see, it's blistering and you gotta just keep ladling. And you get that amazing porchetta, crunchy, just chicharron, look at that. 
So here we go, listen to this. Oh my God. Do you see that? See all, all the fat around that pork belly? When you hit it with that hot oil, it melts it all down really quickly. And then the skin comes away from that pork belly. And it just makes it incredible. Oh my God. Here, listen to this.